Hi everyone, it's Naomi Kanaika from gospelthroughearts.com. Are you having joy in your heart today? Is your joy bubbling in you or are you striving to have joy in your life? I want to encourage you with the word of God from Nehemiah chapter 8. Chapter 8, uh, eight we can see that Nehemiah, Nehemiah is a governor and he is instructing the people. And he said, this is a holy day to the Lord. Do not mourn or weep. For all the people have been weeping as they listened to the words of the law. Go and enjoy choice of food and sweet drinks and send some to those who have nothing prepared. This day is holy to our Lord. Do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is your strength. My brother and sister, the word of God is encouraging you. Do not grieve. Do not uh, be sad. Do not be having um, sadness in your heart but it is encouraging you and me to have the joy of the Lord the joy that eating a piece of sweets or having a sweet drink is only for a short time but the joy that God gives us the strength that he gives us it is for a lifetime are you feeling tired and lethargic or weak or weary I want to encourage you to ask for the joy of the Lord. That is overjoying, overflowing joy that is unquenchable, unstoppable. That joy that no one can stop. The joy of the Lord is your strength, my brother and sister. What are you lacking today? What are you wanting for comfort today? Remember, the Lord is with you. Trust in God and believing that He will work out everything for our good gives us joy. Even though we see a mountain in front of us, even though we see a wall in front of us, we know that when we trust God, that He will take away our worries. He will take away our fear. He would take away our agonies. He would comfort us. His love will bring the joy that we need. In Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8, it speaks about having joy in the Lord. It speaks about having the Lord is going before us and he will never leave us nor forsake us. So we should not fear. So my brother and sister, the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. For my weak heart, for my weak body, for my overwhelming life struggles, I remember that I can come be comforted today because the joy of the Lord is indeed my strength. So what is the joy of the Lord? Joy of the Lord is His goodness. His goodness that never runs out. His goodness that overflows you. He, his goodness never fails. That is the joy that it comes from the Lord. And it strengthens us. It is a source of strength. The joy is a so, source of strength to you and me today. And we can we know in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, it says, And we know that all those who love God, all things work together for good. And we can feel comfortable. We can feel comforted. We can have that joy. So that joy that God gives us sustains us in trying times, sustains us in pain, sustains us when we are having a difficult situation. That is why David says in Psalm 28, verse 7, the Lord is my strength and my shield. In Him, my heart trusts, and I am helped. My heart ex exalts Him. With my song, I give thanks to Him. I have joy today, not because I have everything I need, not because my life is going smoothly. I have joy because of the Lord Jesus Christ, because of His strength in my life, because His overwhelming love and His goodness over my life. So my brother and sister, no matter what you are in this situation, remember the joy of the Lord is your strength. So if you are weeping today, if you are tired and weary today, if you are complaining and grumbling today, remember you need to make up your mind to trust in the Lord. Make up your mind to rejoice in your sadness. Make up your mind to get up and put away your sackcloth and Put a garment of praise and make up your mind to raise your hands up to heaven. Even if you don't have a window, you can peep through a small windowsill to see outside. See the skies, heavens and praise.
praise him. Praise him with your heart. I work uh, in the basement so I don't get too much sunlight so I love to take few breaks here and there when I need to go up so I see the sun coming shining down and uh, if I have a moment to go outside to maybe um, outside to water some plants or maybe to have my lunch I find joy at the sun and we know very soon there will be cold weather is coming we will not be able to go outside much but we know that we still have joy because our strength comes from the Lord Jesus. I hope this encouraged you today. Let's pray. Father, we come to you. God, we thank you that our source of strength is from you. Our source of joy is from you. Our source to go on in this life is from you. Not, Ill, not a piece of cake that we eat or not a sweet drink that we need. We get energy not only from the food that we eat, but Lord, we thank you that our energy, our strength comes from the joy that you give us, the joy that overflows, the joy even though we are in difficult situations. So Lord, give us that complete joy today. Satisfy my brother and my sister today with your total overwhelming, overflowing joy. Let there be rivers of joy flowing in our hearts, flowing in our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope this blessed you. Let's um, sing a beautiful song. A chorus that I remember is that the joy of the Lord is my strength. 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 The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Today I was so happy when I went to drop my daughter. The teacher was outside and he came and he said, are you a Zena's mom? And he complimented my daughter and said good things about her. So that motivates me to do more work with, her, with my daughter so that she would be a shining light wherever she is. I'm so pleased at what God is doing in all, th all three of my children's life. And I know that he's so faithful. What he started, he will accomplish. He's so faithful, my brother and sister. If you are overwhelmed today, surrender everything. Take a deep breath and put on the joy, the garment of praise. Start singing and worshiping God. And the joy of the Lord will be your strength. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye.